What's up, guys? So, true story. A few days ago, I was outside my area, a bigger city. I was shopping at a store. I come out. I don't know who the hell the person was. My dog's barking in the back seat, my canine. They were leaning up against my vehicle, which was odd as hell. Because I'm in an area, I don't know anybody. Now, as I walked to my vehicle, I, not, I did not unlock the doors at this point because I don't know what the hell is going on. It was a younger person, probably in their mid-20s, early 30s. I don't know who else they may know who might be around. So as I walk up to him, he's asking me for some money. You know, I... I'm already pissed. He's, my, my dog's going ape shit in my back seat. If I let my dog out, dude's going to be going to the hospital bad. Big time bad. So I, I pretty much tell the guy, look, man, I can't help you out. Sorry. Keeps on begging. He won't. He keeps. He won't leave. He keeps coming toward me. Closer and closer, slowly, as I'm right by my door, my driver's side door. And this is why I like the Berna, okay? Sometimes you don't even need to use it. And when I say use it, I mean fire it to make someone back off of you. Now, in this situation that I never would have expected, then again, I'm always aware of everything around me. Um... I've actually had people walk up and say, you look like law enforcement by the way you're looking around. No, I'm not law enforcement. I guarantee you that. I am not law enforcement, I tell them. Maybe it was that that caught my attention from a distance away. I don't know. But what happened was is I'm by my car door. He's kind of about five, six feet or so, kind of in between the back seat door and the trunk latch on an SUV, if you guys can kind of imagine that distance. And when he started getting closer and closer to me, almost, he got almost right on my face like this talking to me. I'm thinking, nah, man, something ain't right with this. You know what I mean? So I kept telling him, look, man, I can't help you out. I got to, I got places to be. I got to go. He kept on asking, asking for money. At this point, I'm thinking, okay, is this a distraction? Or is there someone else going to come up behind me? Well, it was sunny out. So the way the sun was facing, it was kind of behind me, shining down. If you guys can kind of visualize that. So what I did was I'm, I'm over aware when I'm around people and out in public, even on my own land, my own property. <clears throat> I used the back window of a truck that was right behind, like in, the, in front of me in a parking spot. I'm parked here. That truck was parked over here, kind of on an angle. And it had tinted windows, which was nice because with the glare of the sun, it kind of acted like a mirror. So I use that to kind of, as I'm talking to him, kind of looking at that to see if anyone's coming up behind me. So eventually I got pissed. It's like, this dude ain't taking a hint. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I literally almost kicked the shit out of dude. So what I basically ended up doing, and it, it caused a big scene, you guys. It, I got out of there before the police came, even though I did nothing wrong. But I didn't feel like being held up any damn longer. You know, so and it seems practically damn near this close to me. I'm getting really pissed off. And look, guys, I'm not a little guy. I'm not no punk. You know what I mean? And this guy wasn't even muscular or none of that shit. Could have been a drug addict. My instincts kicked in. 
I'm not going to flight. I'm not going to just hop in the car and chance him trying to pull me out or something, something like that. So after arguing so much, I, I had enough. So basically what I did was, I, I, I'm not going to do it in my house because my daughter started going ape shit, but I used a real aggressive voice just like I would when I was doing security. You know, and I got to the point, literally, I had my burner on me and I literally went like this and I went back this way. He couldn't reach me with his hands. Now, yeah, he could have had a knife and slashed me. I'd rather be slashed with a hospital two blocks down the street and go get stitched up than whatever the other outcome could have been, carjacking possibly, which one of them went far. But uh, I'll sh this is one of my techniques I, I use. I have three of them, which I'm not going to show the other two because I don't want people knowing all my techniques so that they're a step ahead. But what I, the one I used is this one here. Is When I had enough, I immediately was just talking to him calmly. I stayed calm. I let his adrenaline kind of tire him out like, like the law enforcement does. You ever notice how they stay calm? And after a while, if, you're, if you ever noticed if you're hyped up or someone you're watching is hyped up, they start calming down. That's when I came in immediately and just went like this. And I went like that. My burner. I didn't point it up. I pointed it kind of on an angle. And that person, that person took off fucking running. Okay, and people were looking like crazy. I, I'm pretty sure someone called the cops. Now, I didn't point at his face that close because I didn't want him to see the air cap there. So that's why I pointed on an angle. So when he looked down, with his adrenaline going, he's seen this. He, didn't, he ain't going to know no better. I mean, split second choice. So that's something for you guys to think about. Um, you know, it's like this world is getting fucking so crazy. Really crazy, you guys, that. That uh, you don't never know. If it's innocent, maybe it was, but I got, I got fed up. Usually people will take the hint after a couple times. You just don't know. But I'll tell you what. Two points of this video is to show you guys what I did in that situation. Am I saying it will work for you? No. Am I saying it will work for you? Yes and no, technically. It all depends how you apply it. Tone of voice. And if that person knows actually how to fight. And a lot of people don't. The older generations do. The younger ones, are, they don't. Um, most of them. Not all of them, most of them. And also how effective the burner can be without actually pulling a trigger on it. Because remember, once you pull the trigger... The gig's up. They're going to know it's not a firearm. You want to create the illusion it is a firearm. Even though it is not. It's a launcher. Right? And also, how fast I was able to deploy it when I almost simultaneously, which is another thing in this video I want to point out to you guys, is literally, when I'm talking to them like this, and I go like that, and I pull out, Got a leather burner. But when I pull that out, the ease of pulling it out, yet the, the snugness it is in the shallow defensive holster. That's why I love shadow defensive holsters, you guys. If you guys don't got one and you have a burner, get you a shadow defensive holster. If you guys have firearms, get a shadow defensive holster. Uh, go in the description, click my affiliate link, use my discount code RAT10, get a nice little discount. They're selling pretty good. Um, 
I'll tell you what. My confidence is extremely high when I'm using shallow defensive holsters. I don't have to worry about it breaking, snapping, or just fighting to get it out of there. I mean, I can tighten it. I can loosen it to how I want it to be. Um, and I got pretty snug in there. And that was my In the Waste uh, IWB uh, carry. And um, by the way, guys, this is actually the EP I had on me. And it actually fits for the SD holster, just so you guys know. This, these holsters are so versatile, they're amazing. I love them. I just want to throw it out there. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for a holster, Wes, he, big shout out to him. He, he makes amazing products. Um, I still haven't been on this site. There's been so much going on. I want to see what he has new, if, if there's anything new. I'm sure there's a lot of different things on there now. Um, he makes the best stuff that I personally have found and purchased from him. Um, check that link out today. Doesn't hurt to look. You don't have to buy nothing. Just go on there and look. And worst case scenario, if you don't buy nothing, guess what? If you end up buying a, a firearm, they may have a holster for that firearm later on. Where if you're interested in buying a burner, you know where what kind of burner and what kind of laser attack light you want for it. There's different options. Now you know where to get a holster, among other things. He's even got mag carriers, I still believe. Um, like I said, I haven't looked on there yet. I've been busy. I know before he was temporarily closed, he had mag holsters um, for inside the waistband, which is pretty cool. I got one of those. Very comfortable. Once you get used to them, like anything, very comfortable. Um, check them out today, you guys. And hopefully this experience I had was not expecting. Hopefully that gives some of you a little insight on how effective the burner can actually be without needing to pull the trigger. And real quick, I just want to add in this video, a lot of guys like to knock less lethal. Um, and set, I'm going to throw it out there. The, 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 the main ones that they like to knock is the burner. Probably because... It's the most popular one out there that everyone likes. And I'm one of those guys. The one thing a lot of these guys do not think about, and I really think they should, especially if they do have a firearm or own a firearm. I should say if they own a firearm legally, because anyone can get one today. I'm talking about legally. Um... What they don't think about is, let's just say, I was talking to another guy. Um, and, you know, I never mentioned this before because I've been thinking and thinking about it. But I'm going to come out and say it. That uh, a lot of these guys don't think about when they make stupid comments like that, just ignore them. Because a lot of these guys are probably in their 20s. Like I gave for an example, let's say they're 21. Most states, I believe, unless it's changed, I don't know. You got to be 21 to buy a handgun. And a lot of them will leave, not so much lately, but I, I don't make too many videos lately. I'm starting to again, in fairness. But they have been and were leaving stupid comments saying, oh, Less lethal won't do nothing. Don't buy less lethal. Just buy a handgun. Just buy a firearm. Just buy a Glock. Okay. Well, so you, if a situation like that, for perfect example, actually, I just thought of that. If that person, if a person doesn't have a, a firearm, 
or a, a lethal weapon and you use a firearm. Or let's just even scratch that as a better example. Let's say you use a firearm and the police, this is more realistic, you use a firearm and law enforcement comes and quote unquote, they feel it wasn't justified. Okay. I don't know how many years you get. It all depends on states. I just threw out there 20 years. Just for an example, that's a pretty long time. And by the way, gangbangers, they actually get like only two, three years, which is pretty messed up. The point is here, before I get off topic, <clears throat> a lot of these guys are probably, for an example, 21 years old. If they get locked up for 20 years, and believe me, I've been through the system, bunch of bullshit, I'm still fighting. Assuming they make it out. They'll be 41 years old. But technically, they'll be doing, in most states, 85%. So let's just say they're 21 and they get 20 years. Let's just say the full sentence, not including good time and that's nothing. Let's say they're 41 when they get out. Well, what about us guys who believe in firearms to a amendment? All right. And... We want to choose to carry less lethal, whether it's a burner or maybe a salt supply, or I don't know why you'd want to, but an FSC um, or a taser, right? If one of us are like 40, 50 years old, we get 20 years, but let's say we're 60, 70. I've seen guys that are 80 years old in Walmart carrying a handgun, a Glock, or not a Glock, but a handgun. <clears throat> we might not make it out that 20 years. We may die in prison. So, you know, people leaving comments like that, you guys, ignore it because I don't know anyone that's through analytics. Most of you guys are between 35 and 65 plus that watch this channel. Very, very small percentage, I can't think of it offhand, is uh, between 18 and 21. Um, I highly doubt you guys would be thinking like those youngins would be thinking. But I just want to throw that out there. Something for you all to think about. I mean, is it worth letting them put something in your head to deter you from carrying lawfully a firearm and less lethal if you so choose because let, let's be realistic if you train with your firearm if less lethal fails you already probably got some space between you how fast is it realistically going to be to pull out your firearm odds are already you got one loaded in a chamber to pull it out and fire off a shot i mean it's not like the movies where you're going to dump a whole mag into a person that definitely would probably be labeled homicide, self-defense or not in this day and age. But point is, don't let them discourage you. You know, if they want to laugh, let them laugh. The joke is on them if they follow their own dumb advice, because they're the ones, one, probably will end up in prison, not jail, prison. Jail's temporary for prison. And on top of that, they, I'm not even going to get into it, long story short, the, those get same kind of guys may become a sissy in prison or an illness might kill them or someone else. I mean, no offense to you people that, you know, I don't agree with that, but hey, I'm not going to disrespect them kind of people, but, but uh, just throwing it out there. I mean, people like that that are weak-minded, who can't see and understand where less lethal plays with lethal. In other words, less lethal meets with lethal. Less lethal, let's say the burner meets with your firearm. 
to be responsible, if that makes sense to you guys, you know, not all situations immediately call for a firearm. Well, why do you think police, not always, at least the good and honest, respected police that I respect, don't always pull their firearm out and shoot you? Most times they'll pull their taser out and give you a 5, 10 second burst and that's over with. So, just think about that, you guys. Uh, that's it for this video. It's like 21 minutes, I know, but I wanted to throw this situation out there for you guys to see. And um, shout offensive, shout out to you. Check this site out today. Going to affiliate or going into my description. Long day. Click the affiliate link. And uh, use RAT10, get a nice little discount. Um, the more you spend, the bigger discount you get. Uh, spread the word. And if you guys see those comments, call that person out. Because, real quick, one person I called out a long time ago, they said in their video, and I don't remember the channel, they probably aren't even on it no more. This goes back before COVID. He said a Glock did not have a safety. And he actually showed the Glock in his video. <coughs> People like that do not belong owning firearms. Because if you don't know that firearm and you don't know your own firearm. It's probably not a good idea to own that specific firearm for one and for two. If a person is that dumb and don't realize that. A Glock actually has an internal safety to help prevent accidental discharge that's built into the trigger. <laughs> I don't know why the hell they're allowed to own a firearm. But anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, more videos to come. Shorter videos, but I want to throw it all. I wanna just wanted to get all this in one video for you guys. And um, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. And um, yeah, shout out to Less Lethal Community. All you guys know who you are, who I talk to. And uh, keep it going. Less Lethal is not dead. It's just slowing down. And I've seen some people, I'm not going to say no names. I'm not like that. Unless they really piss me off. Uh, there's been a few different YouTube channels out there talking about something about they're stealing people's content. Well, you know who you are. And I'm not going to throw your name out there. I'm not going to disrespect you like that. But uh, yeah, three channels out there that are not very well known. You are stealing people's ideas. Actually, you're not really stealing the ideas. You're basically making videos that are already out there on people's channels, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a less lethal channel. Don't you guys think? Anyways, like, share, subscribe. Have a good night.